Hey guys, JC6 here. Back at you with Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. What up, guys? I got a, the episode just started, but I have to take a drink of some caffeine. Um, we are on the second investigation for case four. Hopefully, I just hope this this time um, I hope this time is not going to be case 3 was real long but um, I, I don't mind if case 4 is as long as case 3 I mean but you know I just I'm not really sure if I'm trying to say case 3 was too long but point is is that this is the second point second investigation for Case 4, so let's, um, in case you guys forgot who the char this character was, it was Lada Hard, and let's see what she has to say to us, make it up. Today's trial, what did you think of the trial? I was doing it half just to say I beat a witness, even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had to. I'm sorry, I know it caused you a lot of trouble. Remember this tricky, vague little thing? Yeah, I sure know. I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right? You mean the first time you witness a murder? What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, Tom's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start though. Alright, Amada, you go, girl! I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. What do you mean by making up to us? Actually, I got a bit of information for you. That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. So I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Um, what kind of exchange? Um, yeah, let's see. Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right, I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What information don't come cheap, my friend. Ugh. See, I see you thinking about how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Let's see, I... Let's see, I see New York in video, in the, um... In... I see New York in... Um, I see New York, and I, I haven't been to New York, but I see New York on, in the media. I mean, I've seen a pretty good amount of it, I've seen pe people there, um, in media. So I have a, I have an idea of what New York's like, and I have, I've seen, I've seen LA. I've actually been to LA in, um, San Francisco, so I know what that's like, and I've, I've also, you know, been to the South too, so I know about all, I know all about different regions of, of the U.S., but, um, as far as Southerners being more sophisticated, I, um, I don't know, I don't know about, I don't, I think, Beyond, to be honest, the big city people, I don't really, to be honest, I don't, I don't really think we're more sophisticated or whatever because we, the, this is my thinking behind it because, um, in the big city, from what I've seen, you got, you actually, they actually, um, um, make you pay to use the restroom. I don't know if a sophisticated person, person with sophistication, 
you could say they act sophisticated, I guess you could say like good manners, good manner, good, good manners that people think are um, good for good social manners and crap would deny another person to use the restroom just to get some money. Basically, I I, pr I just think that city folk, city people aren't as sophisticated as you know people think because they actually you have to pay to use the restroom in the big cities in this country. For and not every big I don't know about every big city, but in San Francisco, yeah, you got paid to use the restroom. I think in New Orleans, for a lot of places, you gotta do that too. So. It's not, it's not as, you know, it's not as great as people think. What will it be? Are we gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Deal? Yeah, we gotta deal. We, I don't think, we don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. How, how much? You're completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I don't tend to rock poor. Well, I'm not really poor. I mean, I'm a... I'm a ace attorney. Is information need from you is information about Gordy. Uh, whoa, 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 Gordy. But Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows you don't. I'll be keeping watch on the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, guys. Right. See y'all later. Oh man, what about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't just get it. Yeah, this is. Let's see, we gotta go back to the um, public beach. Well, what's. We got a big. Um, we got a steel samurai in the back. If any of you saw case 3. The Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya. Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it's my girl, Keontae's idea. She was all... If you, like, put this here, it would be, like, really cool. She, she gave it to me along with the banner. Oh, that's really impressive. She could find those for you. Oh, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Yo, Nick, what happened with Edgeworth? We made it through the first day in court. All right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? is terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. I mean, what's the point of us saying this to Larry? No, really? Same class for a year. Transfer schools pretty quickly. Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hey Larry, what was that big thing up there before? Uh, oh, the big guy I had that for about a month. It's a big hit with the kids. Why was it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. The compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's why I used to put air in the steel samurai. It broke a little ago, a while ago, so I sent for repairs. I thought you'd inflate it by yourself. Well, let's see what's going on here with a lot of this little hideout. Hey y'all, well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at midnight. It is a little chilly. I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, no you don't. No sneezing. But you? I told y'all no sneezing. So I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than the bang. They trigger on one of Moncarma's finger snaps, you know, now. 
Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry it's nice, but what about my film? Nick paid the lady. Oh, shoot. Can okay, I have to talk to her? Okay, well, we can, well, let's go ahead and just um, see what she has to say first before we go and um, go into other places. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Just defying a serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about the cat case anymore. Huh? Well, didn't you say you had information about the case? Just that, at least. Like I sell trade for the dirt on Gordy. What are you gonna do if Gordy doesn't exist? I quit being an investigative photographer. After I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet, a UFO. A UFO? Anyway, if I can't get to a career making photos this time around, then that's it. I quit and go back to school. So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break of it. Now, what do they call those breaks in university? It starts with a D. I forgot what what it's called. Yeah, I think it starts with a D. When you take a little break from school for from college for a year, then you go back. I don't know, I just... Uh... I, I, I want to see what's going on going like Woods. Oh no, we already been there already. Uh, go like... Let's go ahead and see what's going on in the boat rental shop. Anything new here? It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop's closed for good. Or with the more on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. The Gore Lake entrance. Probably gotta go, I, I think uh, we gotta go to the uh, Criminal Affairs Department. The criminal department, the police, um, police uh, department, criminal affairs. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edwards' case again. What do you mean again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. You think Detective Gumshoe being a detective, they're always talking about cutting his pay. And throughout the games, if you played enough of the games, they always imply that he's poor. I just think if he were a detective, that's that's like kind of a high position in the police department. So I thought they get paid at least a little, I don't know, be kind of well off, I guess. Maybe four, maybe forty that maybe at least, maybe like 50, forty, maybe at least fifty thousand dollars a year or something. I, that's just why I think like they would make at least fifty thousand. I don't know why Detective Gumshoe is always complaining about in the games, in the things like games. He's always um, talking about you know something. They always they always implying that he's broke. And, you know the guy. I mean, I gotta see what Gumshoe has to say. The guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the vic victim in this case. I got, I got, I got, I got some, I uh, some, something, I had some, um, I, I feel like, you know, like, uh, I know something in my throat or something. And so Robert Hammond, they're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him, and Edgeworth never talks about his past. I better drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow. I got, I mean, it doesn't look good, pal. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Must down in Gore Lake? Not personally, no. But oh, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your mind? Eek? 
Got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Questioning? Type of ghost is scaring me, Nick. Told the type of ghost you're about to deal with Lager. Nick, try and tell me sooner next time. Er, uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. I detect a gumshoe will aid your search for glory. I'll loan you one of my new newest secret weapons for finding gold through evidence. You can take whichever one you like. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll go and see what these secret weapons are um, in the next episode. Uh, take care, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.